Imposter Molten ate Jeffy's pencil. And something strange happened to him. Drop a like if you love Jeffy and the secrets he's hiding with Molten. So I recently heard that there is a new Molten form that is a fusion with Jeffy. We need to discover this or else Jeffy is in trouble. Help me save him. It all started when I was on Polis and I heard someone going uh uh uh. Could that be Jeffy? It seemed to be coming from the bathroom. So I entered the laboratory and I found a broken cat piano. It was broken in half. This cat piano belongs to Jeffy. I wonder if Jeffy broke it and that's why he was crying. I went to specimen room and I did a task, but I was really confused. I don't know why Jeffy wouldn't just take the cat piano. But then I heard crying and it seemed to be coming from the office. I entered the office and I found Jeffy hiding behind the bookshelf. Jeffy was crying. Is Jeffy crying because of the cat piano? That has to be the reason he broke it. Jeffy then went uh uh uh. He was really upset. I tried to continue doing my task but Jeffy kept crying and going uh uh uh. But this time it seemed to be coming from the storage room. Is Jeffy hiding in there? So I entered inside the storage room and I saw Jeffy. And right next to him was the broken cat piano. Jeffy must have been really devastated that his cat piano was broken but jeffy you were the one that broke it it was your fault it's all on you buddy but then jeffy wanted me to buy him a new one jeffy i don't have that type of money so i left into electrical the audacity of jeffy thinking that i have the money to buy him a cat piano i have to feed my mini crewmate and he eats a lot. I entered communications and the lights were off. Jeffy must have been really upset and he turned them off. But that is really suspicious. I wonder why Jeffy decided to do that. I did my card swipe in office and the lights were still not on. I checked vitals and all of the crewmates were doing well. So Jeffy is not doing anything to the crewmates but what is he doing now? Why did he turn off the lights? I then heard crying again. What is up with everybody crying in this game? I entered lower decontamination and I found Blue in the corner. He was crying. I tried my best to comfort this crewmate since he seemed to be going through some pain. But he said that he was upset because Jeffy did something to him. He told me that Jeffy was being really aggressive because he wanted a new cat piano. That isn't right Jeffy. I went back to lower decontamination and the crewmate was gone. He seemed to be really upset and I didn't even get to ask him where Jeffy was hiding. So I could confront him and tell Jeffy to stop. I completed both of my tasks in specimen room but then the ground began to shake. Why is the ground shaking? The only person that is powerful enough to do this is Molten. You know, the lava imposter that lives underground? I wonder if Jeffy could possibly be working with him. I entered communications because I was hungry, and I was talking to the blue crewmate. He told me that he found Jeffy outside of the office room, so I went outside and there he was. <laughs> Jeffy was standing right in front of me, and he looked really upset. He was up to something, and I'm going to need your help to figure this out, because the lights turned off and he left. The crewmates thought I was suspicious and I was ejected, but something was hiding in the lava. I wonder who that could be. I was on a mission to look for Jeffy, but as I was walking around Polis, the ground began to shake. Molten must be very active because he lives underneath the lava pool and roams underground. I went to the lava pool and you won't believe it. I saw Jeffy standing next to the lava pool as the ground was shaking. I wonder why Jeffy is looking at the lava. Is he trying to summon Molten? I mean, he's getting really close because he's making the ground shake. And we all know Molten loves doing that. So in order to not get attention from Jeffy, I was checking the cameras, but there was no suspicious activity. You know, I'm starting to feel bad. Maybe I misunderstood Jeffy. I think it's best that I try to fix his cat piano. I put it on the floor and I was trying my best to put it together. Since the cat piano was basically broken in half, I managed to fix the cat piano. And now I need to find a way to give it to Jeffy. So I opened the door from office. And I went to the lava pool, and Jeffy was no longer there. Okay, that's interesting. Where did Jeffy go? 
Jeffy, I'm trying to give you the cat piano. I don't have the money to buy you a new one, but I fixed it. But Jeffy didn't seem to be too happy because I started hearing uh, uh, uh. And I was walking around Polish trying to figure out where the sound was coming from. That is Jeffy, right? I noticed that the door to storage was closed, and then the lights turned off as I was trying to open it. Maybe Jeffy is hiding inside the storage room. So I walked inside and Jeffy wasn't there, but I could still hear Jeffy going uh uh uh. Jeffy must be really upset. Come on Jeffy, I fixed your cat piano. But then I saw that the door at the laboratory was also closed. So I opened it and the door to Murray's hole was also closed. Let's hope that Jeffy is not summoning Murray because we all know how dangerous Jeffy Murray is. But when I walked inside, he wasn't in there. Okay, where did Jeffy go? Well, since I can't find Jeffy, I'm just going to do a task. But Jeffy kept going uh uh uh. Jeffy must be playing games with me. I need to give you this cat piano. Stop playing these games. But then I noticed something in the lava. Molten's head was sticking out. Is Jeffy with Molten? I can't believe Jeffy actually summoned him. No wonder the ground was shaking. Once I spawned back in, I knew I had to go to the lava pool to find out the truth and ask Molten if he's working with Jeffy. Maybe Jeffy's at the lava pool and I can also give him the cat piano. So I made my way over there and then I saw Jeffy right in front of me. It was to be expected. I knew he was going to be here. I told Jeffy, Jeffy, here's your cat piano. I tried giving it to him, but Jeffy said, uh, uh, uh. Jeffy, do you want the cat piano or not? Jeffy didn't want the cat piano. He told me he still wanted a new one. Okay, this is it, Jeffy. I took the pencil out of his nose. And you know what, Jeffy? Just because you're making me mad and you don't want the cat piano and you're working with Molten, I'm going to throw it in the lava. And I am going to burn that pencil. So I threw the pencil in the lava pool and as it was falling in, Molten came out of the lava and he ate Jeffy's pencil. There is no way he just did that. This can't be a good thing. Molten's body started to glow. What is happening to Molten? Molten then had a new form. This new form was a fusion of him and Jeffy. It was Jeffy Molten. Look at his size. He looks exactly like Jeffy. I then appeared inside of the lava pool. Where is Jeffy Molten? Is he going to eat me? I couldn't seem to find him anywhere. How am I going to get out of here? The ground then began to shake. This can't be good. I can't believe Jeffy did this to me. Jeffy Molten came out of the lava and ate my crewmate. If you love Jeffy, drop a like and check out these other stories.